So sporting background, I uh, grew up playing AFL, um, which is ironic now I'm working in the rugby codes, but anyway. And also a background in athletics. Um, probably refer to myself as a failed sprinter, but um, that, which made me a better coach in the long run. So when I said failed, I, um, I really enjoyed it, and, um, but I had to work hard, which made me really investigate um, what's required for running fast. So I really spent a 35-year journey on studying running and, 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 what had, and basically how to get faster, um, which of course is related to hamstring injuries, of course, as well. So that's, uh, that's been, it's been great. Um, so professional background, um, started off, um, I suppose, my university, uh, I suppose, education. I went there quite deliberately wanting to be a sprint coach uh, um, after that. I had a great uh, lecturer in, in Warren Young, who is, who's quite renowned for speed, power, research. Um, you'll see a lot of his stuff in around jumping. Warren was great. Then uh, started work at Australian Institute of Sport, an uh, SNC scholarship up there. Uh, I used to actually get in trouble because I used to spend too much time up the track um, mm -hmm. with the athletics department uh, with uh, Essa Patola. Essa is an interesting chap. I just recently caught up with him in Finland again. Uh, Fantastic guy. He actually coached Patrick Johnson and Kyle Vandercott. S is a physio, sports scientist, and of course a sprints and hurdles coach. So he taught me a lot. So that was uh, two years of just immersing myself in, into not only with Essa but all everything that was at the AOS in those days. And that was back in the halcyon days of uh, the early 2000s, so that was wonderful. Then went to the QAS, um, as obviously worked with field and court sports up there under Kelvin Giles, which was remarkable. Um, he's quite a big name in, in, um, in rugby league in particular. And then I uh, was offered a job in, in rugby, in the, in the pathways there, um, and eventually uh, got involved with the Wallabies, particularly around getting their, their backs faster, which was, uh, which was great. Things moved pretty quick, um, which I was lucky. Um, then opportunity came, came back um, uh, in rugby league, worked with the Broncos. Um, which is fantastic, then moved to, to Europe and European rugby, which is a big change um, from rugby league in Australia to, to rugby um, in Europe. And then again, back in the Australian system, working with the Brumbies, um, which was fantastic, and eventually with the Storm again in 2016. And then, I've, then I had two years with England rugby, and now back with Australian rugby, Rugby Australia as, as we know them these days. And as my role these days is national coordinator of athletic performance, so which is sits over the all the, the the entire 15 programs. Um, so that's pretty much been my journey. But in many ways, I've I've never never left athletics. I've always had a keen interest in it. Um, and I suppose, as I mentioned before, probably obsessed with running and, and what um, what it takes. So. Again, comes back to our topic of hamstring injuries. Oh, without doubt, Vern Gambetta. Um, Vern in the early days, um, we've published a, a few articles together. Um, we've also been um, influenced by Franz Bosch. Um, fascinating guy, um, and the, he's, he's published three books. The first one, Running, was phenomenal. Um, I remember picking it up in 2005 and, and mentioning it to, to Vern. Uh, he had just published a book on running with Gary Winkler, so he was quite dismissive of it. And but having not heard of it, he said, oh, "What's this book?" I said, "Vern, you've got to see it. This is different." And uh, he quickly acknowledged it. He said, "Yeah, that's great." Next one I knew, I saw on on social media, it was over with Franz. So uh, he must have thought it was equally good as I did. Franz has published two other books subsequent to that, which are uh, pretty heavy reading, um, and. I suppose I, I'm probably guilty of not reading them from cover to cover um, because I've been fortunate to spend a lot of time with friends in a practical setting, seeing how he applies it. So I've had you know, quite a lot of time with friends, fortunately. Um, so he's been a, a significant influence on how I think about things. Um, so yeah, that's probably some of the main, but there's a, there's a lot of other people um, sprint coaches that I, um, you know, spend time with and learned a lot, you know, um, it's too many to name. Um, yep. So I apologise if I haven't. <laughs>